girl from gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, watching it her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan. Le Poivre-Anne est une spectacle plus amusant. Did Alice Kane really pick Pink Eye Pete to be her lab partner? They share a microscope. <sighs> Listen to us being petty and close-minded. I say kudos to Alice Kane for reaching out to her fellow... Why did you do it, Alice Kane? Why? Simple, P. Ann. Pink Eye Pete has no... <laughs> social pressures to distract him from schoolwork. With him as my lab partner, I'm guaranteed to maintain my A average. Ew! I told you to wear protective gloves when you touched my things. <sighs> so sad. A gallon of chill aid says she has pink eye in three days. Make it two gallons and you're on. What up, Pepper Ann? Craig! <laughs> uh, uh... Have you checked the new Flaming Snot song, Grey Matters? Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> um, my mom went to junior college with Mick Snot. That rocks. Hey, some of us swim team guys are going for Sleets Cups after school. Uh, at Freezy Pleasy? Today? Whatever, if you're doing something else. P.A., brain dead after school? Absolutely, I am so dead. No, no plans. Are you sure I should go in? What if it wasn't an invitation? What if he was just making conversation? I, uh, I... But maybe it was. Just a sleet cup. But if it wasn't, utter fool of... Go in or not? Pfft, whatever, loser go round. What? What? Oh, the dew? Yeah, it's for swim team. Coach Dugan shaved our heads so we cut through the water faster. So I was thinking about gray matters. What if Mick Snot is saying gray matters? As in, don't diss gray just because it's a boring color, you know? I have to meet Nikki and Milo at Brain Bald. Bald head. Brain's dead. Nikki, he looks terrible. Shh. He's in his awkward years. Not Milo Craig Bean. He shaved his head. The entire swim team shaved their heads. Look. Ooh la la. No! Craig's head is lumpy and... Pepper Ann, Craig Bean is the coolest guy in the entire eighth grade. Nothing can make him look bad. You were just shocked to see him like that. Kind of like when they revamped Fuzzy in 92. Not ugly, just different. You think? Bald is bold, PA. A look once enjoyed only by such renegades as Telly Savalas and Yul Brenner is now embraced by thousands. Milo's right. There's Michael Jordan, the Dalai Lama, Billy Corgan. Keenan and Damon Wayans. Curly, of stooge fame. Could the swim team boys be any cuter? Bald really is beautiful. Yep, and one of those hairless hotties owes me a sleets cup. <laughs> I've been struck blind by the horrific sight of him. Oh, what's the big deal? He looks nifty. Okay, does Craig look weird to you? I think his head is lopsided. <laughs> if we're gonna share lab tools, we have to fix that eye. Here, apply this salve eight times a day to reduce redness and itching. 
Look at her trying to change him. If she's gonna hang with him, she should accept him for who he is. Now you think Craig is the cowboy type or more of a fez man? What up? <laughs> Not much hair. Here. I felt awful about bailing on you yesterday, so I, so I got you a, a, a fedora. If Michael Jackson can still work it, so can you. That's rad of you, but I dig the feel of wind on my scalp. Craig, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but your head is, well, it, your scalp is, uh, <laughs> it's not me, it's just that People are giving you weird looks. They're they're staring at you. Probably even making up names like Craig Craig the Mutant Head and and Sir Lumps a lot. Pepper Ann, it doesn't matter what some posers say about me. My friends don't care about whacked stuff like that. So hey, you going to Freezy Pleasy after school today? Oh, Belle! Let's say there's this guy who was really cute. And you liked him, but then he wasn't so cute and you weren't sure anymore. Would that make you shallow or heartless? Who did you say was cute? Is there a name attached to this story? This is just between us, right? Because your opinion of a person shouldn't change just because his hair did, right? Right. You have to look past the physical, straight into the bank account. That's really tearing me apart, because he keeps asking me to get a Slate's Cup, I think. Oh, no, Pepper Ann, you've got it all wrong. Slate's Cups are just a poor man's flaws at Sunday. Now that is a dessert. Oh, chocolate and caramel and peanut and marlow, just a little sprinkle of the nutmeg. I don't think they'll let you fire a human head in the kiln. I'm horrible, horrible, horrible. Don't compare yourself to me, P.A. We each have our own talents. Pepper Ann, remember when Ms. Bladar taught us the word obsessive? I don't have time for vocabulary. I can only think about Craig's head. Enough about Craig. Maybe you were just using him as a trophy hottie. And now that his head doesn't fit on your shelf, you want to change him back instead of accepting him as he is. Come on! You only have to wear it in the science lab. You're treating Craig just like Alice Kane is treating Pink Eye Pete. <gasps> oh, that's not true. I'm not that shallow. So Craig isn't perfect. There is no reason why I can't be friends with him. I thought Craig was going to be here today. Oh. Hey, it's no use! He's too top heavy! That's it! I have to tell Craig we can never talk to each other again. We have to talk. This is not by any means an easy thing for me. I have struggled long and hard. Those girls are staring at you. Whatever you were saying. You and I can no longer. Great look, Pepper Ann. Trying out a new mud mask or just opposed to bathing? Step off, chick. That's my friend you just got your spit all over. I was just kidding, Pepper Ann. Bye. Craig! You don't need to be so sensitive. You stood up for me. Yeah, that girl is whack. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, a freezy pleasy. You still going for that sleets cup today? Believe it. <gasps> Could you please slow down? The lab stays open till six. Trap, shut it. You're lucky to have a lab partner. Just a sec. There's something I have to do. Alice Kane, you owe Pete an apology. Hey, Pepper Ann's gonna beat up Alice Kane. I've had enough of the way you've been treating Pink Eye Pete. So, his eye's a little pinker than yours. My hair's a little redder. His stomach's a little rounder. We have to look past the pink eyes and the lopsided heads in the world and get to know the people underneath. You said it, sister. Rock on, P.A. I don't have time for this, Pete Ann. I've got somewhere to be. <laughs> 
<laughs> Need a hand, Alice Kane? Oh, sorry, I'm not wearing protective gloves. <laughs> hey, Chef McLean's gonna beat up the chess club. Wow, Pepper Ann, no one's ever stood up for me before. Thanks. Hey, Pearson, ready for that sleets cup? Believe it. Ready, lab partner? Uh, I think Alice Kane had somewhere to be. No, you! From now on, it's you, me, and my mitosis makes three. Well, actually, four. <laughs> you know, Pepper Ann did a great thing sticking up for Pete like that. Totally. A gallon of chili says she has pink eye in three days. Make it two gallons and you're on. She's twisted. She is twisted. FYI, Nikki, next time Coach Dugan yells, heads up, don't actually lift your head up. What kind of stupid warning is that? Is it so hard to say, look away, there's a plastic sphere hurtling toward your face? What up, my locomotion? My stepdad's late again. He's taking me to a classic car show at the Acorn Arena. He must have lotto fever. Time means nothing to him once the jackpot gets over 20 mil. Oh, my dad is the same way. He plays lotto? <laughs> Seriously, though, he does get similarly scatterbrained when the NASDAQ hits a slump. Fathers, huh? Tell me about it. What? Does your dad have any weird little quirks? Any amusing idiosyncrasies? Oh, yeah. Boy, does he ever. My dad's just one big walking idiosyncrasy quirk person. We're 12 years old. Why? We are wearing pajamas. Why? We live at 143 Frankie Circle. Why? Uh-oh. We'll be right back with a very special crazy twin shenanigans. I told you not to go in that chat room. Don't you know you should never type to strangers? Hey, kids, how well do you know your dad? Well enough to become a contestant on a brand new game show called That's My Dad? We're looking for father-child teams to put their knowledge of each other to the test. So come on down to the Channel 96 building for tryouts this Sunday. You'll be dad you did! Finally, a game show stupider than Guess My Mama. Are you crazy? I love Guess My Mama. When the phony mamas have to confess their lies, <laughs> oh, it gives me skin bumps. Excuse me, but can we get back to the really important message in last night's show? Hello, the That's My Dad tryouts are this weekend. Duh. I still think that's the dumbest idea for a game show ever. Of course you do. I mean, no offense, but you don't even live with your dad. Look at the time. Oh, my back is killing <laughs> me. I'm late for my booty of steel class. Just because I don't live with my dad doesn't mean I don't know him. I'm just saying that you wouldn't know your dad as well as someone who sees their dad every day. I see my dad one weekend every month, and I talk to him on the phone all the time. Great. But that doesn't change. Listen, sweet cakes. If you knew your dad half as well as you know the pin number on his bank card, then I might actually take your opinion seriously. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mom, do you know what dad's favorite color is? His favorite food? Does he have any hobbies? Whoa, slow down, Peppy. Where's the fire? At Channel 96 this Sunday, where dad and I will be roasting Trinket and her father. Use a glass, young lady. This isn't the Daisy Fuentes Beach House. I signed me and Dad up to try out for some dumb new game show called That's My Dad. Well, that's great. I think it's wonderful you want to do something like that with your father. Guess my mama has been on for nine years, but no one wants to try out for that now, do they? I have to call Dad and let him know. We should start quizzing each other immediately. Oh, Peppy, your father's gonna be flying all week. And maybe you can quiz each other when you see him on Saturday. Oh, well, the tryouts are Sunday. 
I guess that gives us enough time. That doesn't give you enough time. You gotta get cracking. What, you think Trinket's just laying around doing nothing? And her roots were totally showing. I think it's so sad when a mature woman lets herself go. Maybe you're right. I guess it couldn't hurt to start brushing up on Dad. Shut the freezer, Peppy! This isn't the Trump Tower! These are the letters Dad wrote to Mom when they were first married. He had just gotten his blimp pilot's license and was doing a lot of flying. Your parents were married? Dearest Lydia, I hope this letter finds you well. Oh, how I miss you. Your smile, your laugh. The way the sun glistens off your... Love? Chuck. What happened to the rest of it? What the... Mom? Mom! Yes, Peppy? How come Dad's letters to you are all cut up just when they start to get interesting? Mom? Who needs letters when a picture tells a thousand words? Everything I need to know about Dad is here in these old albums. Okay, pop quiz. What is your dad's favorite holiday? Falling asleep in front of the TV. Hand me the red pen. Okay, what is your dad's proudest accomplishment? Uh, wearing a St. Patrick's Day hat that says, keep your nubbins off me gold. All righty. What is your dad's favorite pastime? Um, having his face licked by a mischievous giraffe? What are you doing? Trying to sleep. Uh-huh. And I suppose dad's 92 tax returns are just gonna memorize themselves? I've given up on going through Dad's old things. We are total strangers. If I bumped into him on the street, I probably wouldn't even recognize him. Hey, I'm walking here. Buzz off. Don't panic. Dad'll be here on Saturday. You'll still have a day to cram before the tryouts. Yeah, okay. Good. I'll pack the details of his life into one fact-filled day. Hey there, Moosey. How's about a hug for your dear old dad? Hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. Pepper, Pepper, Pepper. Oh, my girl is growing like a redwood. <laughs> oh, Dad. So, you're into forestry, huh? Oh, Chuck! Oh, well, I just completely forgot you were coming this morning. <laughs> Hello, Lydia. You're looking well. Why are you dressed up? Well, honey, I'm speaking at the Bobbins and Notions clothing convention today. <laughs> I thought that was last weekend. <laughs> she is a regular jokester. <laughs> jokes, 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 all the time, jokes. Are you familiar with a dumb new game show called That's My Dad? Dad, I noticed you're not looking at the egg or omelet section. Is it that you don't like eggs, or are you watching your cholesterol? You're a flapjack man, aren't you? Eddie's so young. I noticed you're playing with a yellow ball. Yellow often signifies creativity and spunk. Do you feel these words adequately describe you? This was the only bowl that didn't have teeth marks. I noticed we're seeing the raucous family comedy. Honey, I put the kids in the pocket of my khakis and sent them to the dry cleaners. Are you a big fan of this kind of movie genre? Oh, this is a worst thing. I put spin hiker. Peppy, shh. Wasn't that a fun time, girls? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, fun. You know, Dad, you gave a really evasive answer to my ketchup versus salsa question. Pepper Ann. Don't you think you've asked me enough questions? Sorry, Dad, but I just want to make sure we're ready for tomorrow. I know, sweetheart. And we are ready. No one knows each other better than we do, right? Right? Well, this should be a lot of fun, eh? Dad's favorite sitcom star? Fran Drescher. Dad's favorite food? Chitlins. Dad's favorite deodorant? Um... Oh, I know this. Okay. 
I believe that brings your score to a perfect and amazing 100. Anything's possible when you love each other like we do. And when you live together like we do. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna go get some water. You can't give up now, come on! Favorite deodorant, you know this. Trinket was right. Dad and I are total strangers. Strangers? What's going on, sweetheart? Trinket said we didn't know each other because we don't live together. And at first, I told her to staple it shut. But now, I realize she was right. Oh, Pepper Ann. What does it matter if you don't know what kind of socks I wear or if I can name your ten favorite vegetables? What matters is that we enjoy spending time together. Just because people live together doesn't mean they know each other. That's certainly not the kind of relationship I want to have. Me neither. Pearson, Chuck, and Pepper Ann, you're up next. Pearson! I've got ten hours before I fly out. Let's say we blow this pop stand, pick up your sister, and hit the skating rink. Oh, Dad, I thought you hated skating. I do, and raucous family comedies. Really? I didn't know that. Just don't tell your sister. 